In this Revit Quick Tips video, I'm going to take you through an issue that came up for one of my clients. So he's modeling a building. Um, it's an existing building, so he's modeled the existing, and in the proposed, he's demolished a number of windows on this right hand side of this uh, external wall. So there is the existing, and if I go to new, so there's his proposed. You can see as part of his scheme, he's adding in uh, a number of new walls into this open or previously open plan space. So let's just look at what's going on with the windows. So on this return wall up here, these are existing windows. They remain and we can actually see the windows. Uh, but in this top wall, we've got some very strange things going on. The, the windows that he wants to keep, the openings are showing but the window families themselves are not. And on this side where he wants the windows to be demolished, he's actually uh, set them to be demolished for their, their phase. Um, we don't see the windows, that's, that's fine, but we also now don't see the walls or any of the, the base of the, the wall. This, this should just be filled in completely because the windows have been demolished. It should infill the gaps with a section of wall to replace where the windows have been demolished. Uh, as you can see, uh, this doesn't look right in any shape or form. So let's just quickly swap to the elevation. The elevation, which is looking down here at this wall in question, that looks correct. So there's the windows that we want to keep. The windows that have been demolished, and this, this you can see here, confirm, is the new construction phase. Uh, they've come out and the gaps have been filled in. So the elevation's fine, but something is going on with the, the plan there for this top wall. And the answer to it is simply the cut plane. The cut plane for this view has been set to match exactly the height of the window, the, the window head. So if I just go back to that elevation. So the cut plane comes through at exactly this level, the top of the window family. And that causes Revit a bit of an issue. Uh, it can't really resolve the view. If we put the cut plane down into here, it'll all behave correctly. We'll see the, the wall filled in. We will see uh, the windows as they're cut through the ones that remain. If we lift the cut plane up, um, obviously we won't see the windows because the wall will be cut through and it'll be continuous. Um, if the window families, and I don't think it's the case in this particular scenario, obviously if they had a, a large sill on the, the inside or the outside or both, you'd see that protruding, but effectively you'd just see the wall cut through. So let's go and just see that in practice. Go back to the plan. So I know um, the height of the, the window head is, is seven foot. So if we look at the view range settings, we can see the cut plane is exactly at seven foot. Let's just lower that down to six. So it's below the, the head height. Okay, that. And there we go. The existing windows that remain, we are now see in the window families as they're cut through and the windows that have been demolished, we're seeing the wall where it's been infilled.